everyone falls. Everyone fails. I'll prove it. Raise your hand if you have ever fallen or failed. And if you think you haven't fallen or failed, you're either extremely lucky or delusional. <laughs> Madam Toastmaster and my fellow persisters, I admit I have fallen and failed many times. And every time, my mom always asked, what will you do? Growing up in a household of five with two parents who both worked full time, sometimes two to three jobs, the expectation was if you stumble in life, you always have a decision to make. Keep going or quit. Quitting was never an option until I was a freshman in college. It was November on a Sunday afternoon. I'm sitting in my dorm room watching TV, eating my last pack of delicious ramen noodles, <laughs> chicken flavor. And the phone rings. Boop! It's mom. Hi, mommy. Jory, listen, honey, things aren't good financially. You'll need to leave school at the end of this semester. I liked college, even though the class has gotten away. <laughs> I went back home. On the drive, I said, Mom, I don't want to go back to school after this. I'll be too embarrassed. I'll be behind my class. Jory, what will you do? Keep going or quit? So what if you finish late? You will finish. I graduated a year and a half after my class, but I finished. All because my mom taught me that quitting is not an option. We all get knocked down, don't we? And when we're knocked down, we have a choice. Stay down or get up and keep going. But there's something else. I was nearly 300 pounds in college. I woke up one morning, tired of fighting this battle. I got on the Atkins plan. After having tried paleo, detoxing, juicing, Slim Fast, South Beach, Weight Watchers, Gluten Free, the water diet, even the cabbage diet. Do not try that one at home, folks. <laughs> you name it, I tried it. I started working out seven days a week, sometimes twice a day. Four months in, I was 80 pounds down. I felt like a champion. Until I gained 100 pounds back. I was hurting. I called mom. Mommy, why am I fat? Honey, it's not why. It's a matter of what. What will you do? Keep going to lose it or quit? Mom, does liposuction count? <laughs> I didn't give up. Instead, I got up and my weight went way down. But it wouldn't have happened if I had stayed down. This wasn't the last time I'd fallen and failed. In 2011, I was planning my wedding in August, planning to start graduate school in September, a program I'd just been rejected from the year before. Life was good. Then I received a phone call from dad. Dad is a cool dad. What's up, dad? Hey, doll. Listen, your mom had a massive stroke this morning. Poor 
Four days later, she passed away. My own heart stopped. I didn't know if I could get up and keep going. I was broken. How would I go on without my pillar? She had left me a reminder. This time, I asked myself the question she'd asked me for so many years. Jory, what will you do? Keep going or quit, baby? Well, the wedding went off as planned. My husband actually showed up <laughs> and is still supporting me today. And I started graduate school in September. And when I graduated, I dedicated the, the degree to my mom, Mrs. Callie Lott. Friends, out of everything I've encountered, I discovered that no matter what happened, I could always get up and keep going. That's one permanent gift that no one could take away. And friends, that is one gift that no one could take away from you either. Difficult situations challenge us. They always have and they always will. You can reflect on a difficult situation you thought was impossible to overcome. How'd you overcome it? Who was your pillar? You can remember what you did and do it again. You can get that job. You can start that business. You can get into that school. And if you feel like giving up, you can use your past triumphs as inspiration to keep going. What will you do? What will you do? What will you do? Keep going or quit? When we're knocked down, we have a choice. Give up or get up. What will you choose? Madam Toastmaster. <laughs>